But for the most part, these guys are pretty evenly matched as we get ready. Both guys throw a kick. Neither one land. Now Elijah looks like the strongest out of the three brothers. Yeah, and you're right. gonna see it right there. He fainted the Superman punch. Told you, man, once they get hit, they can start grappling. Ooh. Good knee to the body by Elijah. Grant is fighting for the, uh, the double underhooks. Oh, He's gonna go for the, the trip. Ooh, that was a nice uh, transition. Brandon Seaman looks very comfortable in his debut fight so far. Those wrestling and striking transitions burn you out. Absolutely. He didn't even check it, but he did, it was an accident. He felt that. 1-1-2, one, one, Elijah Jackson, and another one, and he's gonna get taken down here. Brandon Seaman gets on top, and he tries to jump to side mount, but does not get it. Elijah Jackson gonna try to fight that wrist off, and he's covering the head. Oh, nice punch there, Brandon Seaman, I believe that landed. Oh, wow. Brandon Seaman caught him with the uh, hook on the way up and then chased him down for a nice cross. Ooh. Elijah doing a good job with the overhook. He's won a step to his, to Brandon's outside left leg and try to get his clinch. Uh, so Brandon's back is to the cage and he's, he's oh, now he's gonna go for the throw. Both guys doing a great job at keeping it on the feet in these grappling exchanges. Devontae, like you mentioned, such an exhausting process. Very. Um, but you gotta, this is MMA, you gotta know, <laughs> you gotta be ready for the striking, the grappling, the gist, the kicking, the punching, the up, all of that. Nice Ooh. cross. Again, by Brandon Seaman. Brandon Seaman thrown with a lot of power. Elijah hit him hard earlier. Elijah. And he hits him hard again just now. Elijah is in a, a, a boxer stance, which isn't bad, but it's very bladed. Looks like Brandon tried to get his head and failed. Elijah again getting that overhook on the left side and trying to step to the outside, doing a good job at defending here. <laughs> Not sure where Elijah's looking. Almost like he was trying to find a clock. Yeah, is there a clock somewhere? No. <laughs> <laughs> no clock. And that is going to be the round. And uh, if I'm Brandon Seaman, just kind of keep doing what I've been doing, uh, except try to win those. Uh, when you have his back against the cage, I want to see you try to finish that and get him to the ground. I do want to apologize. I meant Elijah Jackson. Ooh, nice uh, look Elijah's Elijah. doing a good job. Obviously, all these Jackson brothers here. Both guys swinging, but neither landing. And that's what you don't want to see. You don't want to see a fighter back up yeah. and run away like uh, Elijah just did there. You'd like to see him circle. But he does such a good job at defending on the cage. You know, this wrestle against the cage is going to wear him out. Absolutely. When you, if got, I'm, when you got to carry someone's weight like that, that really wears you down. 100%. If I'm Brandon Seaman, uh, obviously, you know, the trips and stuff are not working for you. Try to drop to a single, a double, maybe an ankle pick, uh, but attack at his legs because it's nothing's worked thus far. Ooh. And he clips him good with the right hand. Right. It also looks like Brandon Seaman's been switching stance this fight, and I wonder if that's been giving Elijah any bit of a problem. As the round goes on, Brandon looks like he's getting more and more in the groove of Yeah, I gotta agree. And there you see him try to go for a leg. Well, I want to see. Even damage those legs with those knees and drop. Elijah only defending his upper body. And now he's defending <laughs> the bottom half. 
Alexa doing such a good job defending. They tried to clip him. Maybe a potential eye poke? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened there either. Brandon said, let's go. He's ready to go. Not sure what happened there. But no point deduction. And Brandon, like you said, Matt, seems ready uh, to go, so. Seems like his cardio is definitely lasting longer than Jackson's right now. Oh, and Brandon Seaman, a fine way he went for those legs and got the double. Let's see what he can do on the ground here. Definitely a well-timed double right there. Absolutely. You almost want to see Elijah just try to roll over. Um, Brandon Seaman was putting all of his weight on that right side. And Brandon Seaman in good position right now to do, lay some ground and pound. Elijah defending a lot of those shots though. But Brandon Siemens looked much better in this second round. And uh, maybe whatever Malcolm did got, or sorry, Elijah did, got him a little tired. And we are going to see both of these guys go to the third round. Elijah Jackson in the red. And Brandon Seaman in the blue for this last round. And Elijah comes out swinging. That's what I want to see from him because he's not doing much on the ground. And he saw some early success with striking in this fight. So let's see what he can do here. Ooh, that was a nice straight two by Elijah. Yeah, he does it. a good job at sprawling out, but oh. he's, he's going to defend it. I'm, Elijah Jackson's takedown Ooh. defense is good. He's Ooh. tight in that. Ooh. He's got that tight. Brandon Seaman gator rolling him. But it doesn't matter. Elijah will not let go of that head. He believes he's got it. That gator roll was Elijah, something else. He needs to use that, that guillotine to I mean, never mind. It looks like Brandon's breathing oh, yeah, right there. Yep. Wow, good job. Brandon Seaman getting out of there. He went and fought and fought and fought for that takedown. Elijah got it. And uh, now Brandon Seaman got back on top. Not sure what Brandon Seaman was trying to do there. Um, but he's dropping his hands a lot. So it'd be nice to see if Elijah could try to capitalize on him dropping his hands. Man, Brandon really wants to get this down to fight to the ground. Yeah, and you know, I don't know why. He's seen a lot of success on the feet, and uh, Elijah's done such a good job at defending takedowns. Obviously, in this later round, it seems he, he uh, he's lost on a couple, but for most of the fight, uh, but, you know, Brandon Seaman's probably confident that he's got the fight, so he probably just wants to control in this last round, mm -hmm. which is a really high veteran uh, move here for somebody making their MMA debut. Doing a good job on the side mount, good job knees to the body, and Elijah just looks lost. It's, it's like he, he's not sure what to do on the ground when he's on his back. Brandon's just pounding those knees into the side. I know that does not feel good. However, I would like to see Brandon Seaman try to do a little something besides those knees. He has a chance to finish him here with yeah. such a good position. I'm just gonna switch the top. as you see the beautiful haircut of John McGinnis. That is real. That is really what his hair looks like. 100%. A slow fight, but a fight nonetheless as we go in 
to the end of this fight. Brandon Seaman did a good job here. I gotta think that he's probably taking it. I'm gonna throw it over to Jake Digman for the official call.